Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. If you've ever wanted to know how to add custom model data to items, just like I've added this custom model to this carved pumpkin over here on my head, well then this is the place for you because that's exactly what I'll be explaining. I am 100% me and I'll be your guide into figuring out exactly how to set up your resource pack to accept custom model data. Let's get started, shall we? Before we get started though, there are a couple of really important things that you need to know. For starters, a lot of people, data pack makers and resource pack makers, they talk about adding custom items, but technically you cannot really add items to Minecraft using data packs and resource packs. Usually what they're referring to is they're taking an existing item, like for example, this iron door or I don't know, the copper bulb, and they're adding custom model data to it to make it look and feel as though there is a separate item. It doesn't replace the existing item, but rather it adds a little bit of extra data to the item, which you can then use using custom model data. Something else that's very important is that this only applies to items that are in item form, like in your inventory. If I were to take this pumpkin that's on my head and I place it into the world, you can see it turns into a carved pumpkin. The custom model data is lost. And so while technically you can change the custom model data of any of these items, you cannot really add custom blocks to your world this way. It only really applies to items in your inventory. Now for this tutorial, I'll be using this cap that I'm wearing as an example. That's what I'll be adding, but of course you can add your own custom item. What's very important to know, in this tutorial we'll be using basically three different kinds of files. And I just quickly want to go over how I'll be referring to these files in this tutorial so that there is no miscommunication whatsoever. First things first, of course you need to have a texture for your custom item or your custom model. This is what I'll be referring to as the custom texture. Second, every single item in Minecraft, whether it's custom or not, has a JSON file attached to it that basically tells Minecraft how to display it. The texture of my head is flat, but Minecraft still needs to know what the model is, and that's what this is. And so the custom model file I'll be referring to as the custom model or custom model JSON file. Finally, as I've said, we'll need to attach our custom model to one of the pre-existing items. Now, all of these items also have a model JSON file. This is what I'll be referring to as the built-in model. Now for this tutorial, I'll be assuming that you've already got all three of those files. However, if you don't, I'll briefly go over how to get them as we go through this tutorial. And so with all that out of the way, let's figure out how to take this really cool cap and add it to your carved pumpkin as custom model data. Starting with our custom model. This here is our cap, and as you can see, I made it here in Blockbench. Blockbench is a really cool tool for making custom models, and I do recommend you check it out. There are plenty of other tutorials from other people to get you started. If you have your model here in Blockbench, you want to make sure that you export it as a block or item model. This will ask you where to save it and how to call it. I'm going to call it cap.json. And this will be our custom model JSON. I'm just saving it to my desktop over here. And I guess because I've already saved the image, it's kind of already saved somewhere. But normally it will also ask you where to save your custom texture. You want to put that in the same folder where you put your custom model JSON for now. Once you've got everything finished and saved, you can exit out of Blockbench. From here, we are going to add our custom model and our custom texture to our resource pack. Now, if you don't have a resource pack set up yet, don't worry. I'm about to show you exactly how to do it. For this, I'll be using a template that I've made. It's available for free on my Patreon. You can download it. There will be a link in the description. Now, for editing my resource packs, I use a program called VS Code. It's really easy to show exactly where you are in your project. So this is the resource pack over here, and these are the folders. So you'll be greeted first with the assets folder. And in there, there will be a Minecraft folder and a template folder. And in a Minecraft folder, there'll be a models folder and a textures folder. We'll be using the models for now. There will be an item folder in there. And in my template, this item folder will be empty. As you can see, I've already added a carved pumpkin.json. This is the built-in model JSON where we are going to add our custom items to. If you don't know how to add this or how to create this, you can copy this from your screens right now. Make sure that it's called carved underscore pumpkin JSON and that it's in the models item folder. This file is what Minecraft uses to figure out how to display the carved pumpkin. You can see that for the model, it uses the orientable block. And for the textures, it uses carved pumpkin and the side of the pumpkin. And for the top, it uses the top of the pumpkin. 
If you're choosing to use an item different than the carved pumpkin, then that file is going to look a little different. However, that shouldn't really matter for the rest of this tutorial. Because what you want to do at the end here, before this curly bracket over here, you want to add a little comma and then just press enter. This is where we are adding the rest of our stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to type overwrites within the quotation marks, of course, as you can see. And just to make it a little more readable, I'm adding a space and then a square bracket. There you go. And again, just to make it a little more readable, I'm adding an enter and you can see that VS Code automatically put it down here so I can write over here. The enters and spaces don't really matter much, but it just makes it a little bit easier for you to read. In here, I want to open up my curly brackets and then I want to open more quotation marks and I want to type predicate and out of my quotation marks, I want to type a colon. I'm adding another space again for readability and opening more curly brackets. There you go. Quotation marks again. And here we're going to type custom underscore model underscore data. Outside of your quotation marks, you want to add a colon and here you want to type a number. We can virtually add unlimited numbers of custom models to our built-in models. And with this number, with custom model data, that number, that's how Minecraft identifies one from the other. And so basically this can be any number that we'd like it to be. I'm just going to give it number one. Now we want to go outside of our curly bracket over here and place a comma. I'm doing again another space for readability and then opening quotation marks again, because basically we've just freed up some space for custom model data and it will be number one, but we haven't really told Minecraft yet where to find model number one. And that's what we're going to do in here. We're going to type model. We're doing a colon again, and here we're opening another quotation marks. Now this is where we want to find our custom model. However, as you can see, we haven't really added our model anywhere yet. This is what we'll be doing in the templates folder. In here, you will see a models folder and again, an item folder, much like over here in the Minecraft folder. Now this is what we'll be dragging our cap.json to, our custom model that we've just created. Now there are a few things that we need to change in here, which is absolutely fine. We'll do that in just a minute. But back in our carved pumpkin JSON, now that we've got our cap in, we can tell it where to find it. Now remember we've added it here to the template folder. So we want to start with that when say template, and then we want to do colon because template is our namespace here and the model can be found in item slash cap. Notice that we don't need to type dot JSON at the end. That won't work. And also notice that we don't have to put this in the model slash item slash cap. That's because this is already a model and this models folder is exactly where Minecraft will be looking for it. Now we've got the model in, but not the texture yet. We're almost done. So here in template, we had the models folder but we also had the textures folder and guess what? That is where our texture is going to be in our custom model texture. Now, a really big issue is that our cap.json, our custom model doesn't know that this is where the texture is. So what we want to do here in textures, we have zero and particle. So here we want to do the exact same thing as we did for the carved pumpkin. It's in the templates namespace. So we want to do template colon and then it's automatically looking for the textures folder here because this is in textures. So here we want to just say item slash. And then of course the name of our texture over here. Now we want to copy this over to this one over here because they need to be exactly the same. Now I believe that this should work. So we're going to save everything. Make sure that you save this one as well. And now to add our resource pack into Minecraft. That's pretty simple. From the escape menu, you go to options into resource packs over here. You want to click open resource pack folder and you just want to add the resource pack that you've just created into that folder. Now it should show up somewhere. I've called the custom cap, but it will be called template if you use my template. And then you can just click this arrow to add it into your selected resource packs over here. Click done. It's going to load. I'm just going to quickly get rid of mine because that's an old one. Now to get your custom item, what you need to do is you need to type a command. And so you want to type in the following command. You want to type forward slash give and then yourself or the nearest player. And then the item that you added your custom model to, in our case, that's the carved pumpkin. And in square brackets over here, we want to type custom model data. And here we just want to type in the number that we gave it. In our case, that is number one. 
And now I have a carved pumpkin with the custom model that we added to it. We can add it to our head and you can see one issue and I'll address that in a second. But you can also see that our custom hat has been added to the carved pumpkin and we can wear it now. There you go. Whoosh. Now, of course, the carved pumpkin adds a little pumpkin blur overlay. This one, right? It doesn't matter what kind of custom model data you add to the pumpkin. It will just always display the texture. Now, the way that most people solve that is by making the texture transparent, which does, however, mean that the regular carved pumpkin also won't display the texture, which may have an impact on survival mode. If you want to get rid of the pumpkin blur, then you want to go back to your resource pack into the Minecraft folder of the resource pack, not template in Minecraft. And here in textures, you want to make a new folder called misc for miscellaneous. And in there, you just want to add a texture that's called pumpkin blur.png that is just completely transparent. Pretty much any image editor can make an image transparent. And so I won't really cover that in this tutorial. But if we reload our data right now, our resource pack, then we should see that our pumpkin blur is gone. So we've just learned how to add custom model data to items using a resource pack. And then we even learned how to cheat the system and get rid of our pumpkin blur. Whoosh. Now remember, the resource pack template will be available for free from my Patreon. However, paid members will also get access to the resource pack that we've just made with the cool custom hat. If you want to support me, then becoming a paid member of my Patreon is a really good way of doing that. And you get this really cool hat. And if you can't afford to or simply don't want to support me, then of course that's also fine. There's no pressure here. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you learned what you wanted to learn. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.